6.99%. There you saw it. That was how high the Spanish 10-year bond yield reached this morning, a new euro era record, dangerously close to that feared 7% level. Let's welcome Ian Harnett. He's the managing director of European Strategy at Absolute Strategy Research in London. Everyone is watching. Good morning. Good morning. Everyone's watching Spain, Ian, this morning. I'm watching Germany. Usually all the money pours into the German bonds, but we're not seeing that today or in the past few Absolutely days. Absolutely right. What's going yeah, on? I think, you know, the most, the most interesting development that we've had since the beginning of European stocks, non-financials, of course, from Absolute Strategy Research. Just ahead on Inside Track, it's all about the swing. We'll tell you how. This is what's happening. Eric, you can bet that Germany's Angela Merkel, ECB's Mario Draghi's pain thresholds are being tested right now. Looking at the Spanish 10-year, 6.95. Earlier it got to 6.99. 7% is considered the danger point. May even force Spain to go for an all-out sovereign bailout, we're told. The bank rescue clearly not helping. Moody's last night cutting Spanish credit rating one step above junk, saying that the bank help would increase the government's debt burden, which is why those government borrowing costs are skyrocketing. The contagion has certainly spread from the European bond market here to the U.S. economy. Ugly jobs report, a weak retail sales number yesterday. Here's the Treasury Secretary last night on how to deal with Europe. Carl, I know you've got more on the action in other markets. Yeah, and let's start with European stocks, Sarah. European stocks right now in the red, losing six-tenths of one percent, but coming off of its lows over the last couple of hours, last couple of minutes here. Still, uh, with basic resource companies, the leading decline.